you know, I really should buy some barbecue paint. Sand this sucker down and paint it. <laughs> it is kind of rusty. It's what you get for leaving your stuff. Sitting out in the rain. There's old... Oh, I forgot we named my Dutch oven. What was it? I don't remember now. Wednesday. I'm gonna cook fajitas, chicken fajitas. It is May 2021. May 2020. May. May 2021 is fajitas. The challenge is fajitas for this month, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've cooked this recipe before, but I think the last time I did it was actually when I owned a house. So if you want to see how I kick those kind of sticks and bricks, you can go here. If not, we're going to do it in the Dutch oven. I'm only going to use my stove to light my briquettes. What are you doing, little girl? Huh? What are you doing, little girl? Oh, got to get some butter from the girl. Did I mention that it's humid here? <laughs> it's 78 degrees right now, and I don't know what the humidity is, but it's pretty humid. So, I don't want to be cooking indoors right now. Got my air conditioner going. not my recipe um, I will link it down below but if you know anything about me I love all the recipes on uh, budgetbites.com that's where this comes from chili powder and they just don't shake very good. Like, take forever to fill that up. And I even cut these thinner so it won't take as long to cook. Y'all know how much I hate this. Oops. I hate touching meat. <laughs> and I didn't go get my glove. Put the seasoning, seasoning on there. And olive oil. Now I'm going to mix 
some homemade pico de gallo. And this is my recipe. I don't have any cilantro, but I do have some cilantro, dehydrated cilantro, so I'll be using that. They actually did not have any cilantro at the store the other day. I also use this manual food processor. Um, I use this all the time to make pico de gallo. Uh, got this at the big tent three or four years ago. Love it. So that's what we're going to be using. All you have to do is cut up the ingredients a little smaller and then the food processor does the rest. I don't I guess I have a weird thing. I don't like to touch raw meat, and I did. But I definitely don't like to touch jalapenos. So I am going to use a glove to touch those. So I'm just going to cut these tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. Drop them in the food processor. Cilantro. Hydrated cilantro. That's not going to cut it. I'm the only one eating this, so I taste it several times. Let's see what it needs. Hmm. Need some chips. That's what it needs. I think it's hot enough. I always use some more lime. What you doing, Sammy? <laughs> I wonder if they can see you. I wonder if they can see you sitting there. Be perfect on those chicken fajitas. Let's take a look. Ooh, that looks good. I'm gonna stir it. Go away, B. Go away, B. Give me an idea of something you want me to cook and put it in the comments below and I will cook it either in the cast iron skillet or in the Dutch oven. If you want to provide me with a specific recipe that you want to see me cook, email me at frugalrvgal at gmail.com and put the recipe in there and I may just cook it. Um, I think I'm going to start a new series. Not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but um, I want your ideas or your recipe so please put the put it in the comments below and email me a recipe that's gonna be fun also if you think of a name for the series put that down below too um, I will create a playlist 
name it that and put all those videos in that playlist um, anyway give me some ideas on a name for this new series it doesn't have to be just cast iron it doesn't have to be um, Dutch oven it can be and you know barbecue I mean it can be cakes it can be anything but if you have a specific recipe you want me to cook and to film send me an email frugalrvgal at gmail.com oh uh, yeah it's falling apart let's take it off the fire Guacamole. Oops. And a little bit. A little bit. Oh, always comes out so much at a time. And let's put some of that over here. And pickle the guy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little bit more lime. Now that's a chicken fajita. You need to get over there. You need to stay on your own property. All right, you can go over there. Compromise. That is good. Y'all send me your recipes. And thank you for tuning in for this episode of Cast Iron Wednesday. I gotta go eat.